What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another... We're going to actually do a flashback time spiral draft here today, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If you don't... I have... I have, Yeah, I have tons of Bethesda buddies, actually. They offered me a job like four years ago. I had to turn it down, unfortunately. And then I did a bunch of the work for Elder Scrolls Legends for them. Uh, I did a bunch of the initial content. I went to PAX with them multiple times. I commented live on the game. Yeah, I did a bunch of stuff. with. with I've worked with Bethesda, Bethesda several times. Uh, Bethesda is not owned by Activision Blizzard. They are owned by ZeniMax. ZeniMax Studios. Or ZeniMax Entertainment. Alright, let's see what we got here. Are these phantom drafts? Yes, okay. So, no money to be gained here. Oh, Dark Withering was good. You could madness this dude out. It's literally just a solid removal spell in the format. Nor in the Wary sucks. Dan Dan sucks. You suck, Dan Dan. I'm sorry, that was aggressive. Uh, all of these suck. <laughs> Pretty sure it's either a Crook Claw Transmuter or Dark Withering here. I'm going to go with Dark Withering. Dark Withering. Dark withering. The, if you join the dark side, you must beware the dark withering. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm pretty sure I just blacked out. Pirates of the Caribbean? How long ago is that? <laughs> that what? Is that even a thing? I didn't even know they made a Pirates of the Caribbean game. That doesn't sound like a Bethesda thing. Oh, this was 2003. Wow. Badger, have a good afternoon, buddy. Really appreciate it. I will see you soon. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that either. I'm, I'm, I don't know. We're good. We're, we're having a good time today. Fire Makavu is very good, but I don't want to be able to pay the, I don't want to have to pay the echo here. It does, it could kill two things. We can also just stick with an assassinate, which is very, very solid as well. Were there giant enemy crab? There should be giant enemy crabs in all games. Uh, this guy's meh. Like it's all damage that we dealt to unblock guys is dealt to you, right? Yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, I'll just take assassinate. Nickel bolas. More like nickel brolas. <clears throat> Destroy a non-black creature that entered the battlefield since your last turn ended. Yeah, right. Haunting him, they discard two cards. If you cast this spell during your main phase, they discard four cards instead. I I don't remember this card being super powerful, but maybe it was kind of good. Maybe. I, I actually think I can resist Bolas just because this one isn't that good. Oh, God. Is it? I don't actually know. I think I'm just going to go with Haunting Him here. I think it's strong. Trespass Revelk also pretty strong. Getting Shadow and having an outlet for your Dark Withering is good. Like, I just don't want to be double black, double bluing, and double redding. I mean, I can see... Okay, so Avatar of Woe will 100% take. That is a late Avatar of Woe. Wow. I mean, it's 8 mana, but you can get a discount on it. And it destroys any creature. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. This is not a cube. This is a time spiral flashback draft. Wow, that is a solid... Oh, Drowlnu? Oh my goodness gracious. However, Drowlnu is pretty risky and limited. <laughs> you have to sack that many permanents of damage to be dealt to Drowlnu. Drowlnu was nice back in, um, in Standard because you can just play counter a counter deck with Drowlnu. And if they try to deal damage to him, you can just target a counter spell in your graveyard and counter it. So, 
never happening. But um, Siphon Mage is pretty solid. Cloud Chaser Kestrel's fine. It kills an enchantment when it comes into play. Um, Snapback's a bounce spell. It's fine. Crusader's good, but we're not white. Probably just going to take Siphon Mage. I don't feel like dealing with Drown new shenanigans. Nightshade Assassin's nice. Uh, when enters battlefield, you can reel X black cards in your hand. If you do target creature, gets plus X. Negative X, negative X. And you can madness it in. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to take that. Our, our black deck's doing pretty well right now. Hmm. Quick Claw Transmuter's good. Ovenomancer is... Uh, you return three basic lands to, the, to your owner's hand when it comes into play. Then you can bounce this guy to destroy a creature, and then they get an O1. It's not good. I'm just going to take Cl Cl Claw Transmuter. Yeah, that's why I took the Urwarg Siphon Mage, because it is a good discard outlet for our Madness cards, of which we have two. Madness means if an ability makes you discard this, you can pay the Madness cost and cast it at that point. Yeah, the Sparta cost. This is madness. Yeah, specifically madness says, if you discard this card, discard it into exile. When you do, cast it for its madness cost or put it into your graveyard. <coughs> oh, I like Stormscape Familiar in this deck, actually. Phyrexian Totem also pretty good. Just being able to bash in there with Phyrexian Totem is pretty cool. However, getting a discount on all these things is... I'm just going to go Stormscape from layer here. Like, being able to cast this for 5 or this for, God, significantly less is pretty nice. Plus, it's a 1-1 floaty boy. Uh, Ophidian Eye. Ooh, Ophidian Eye is nice. Whenever enchanted creatures damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. Yeah, we're just going to take Ophidian Eye. I think there were combos with Ophidian Eye in this format. My dog just came in my office, did her doggy bed circle, got settled, farted, and ran out of the room in fear. Good times. That's a good dog story. Oh, no, time. I can't tell if that's, oh, no, time spiral. Like you're correcting yourself or if it's an, oh, no, time spiral. I'm not sure which it is. At the beginning of the player's upkeep, that player gets an additional upkeep. Huh. Yeah, we'll just take Temporal Eddy, which is not terrible. Slipstream Serpent, when you control on, sacrifice it. I can attack unless, yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it'll do. Oh, another 59. Uh, not terrible. Correcting. Good. I like it. Yeah, someone took that bolus. Null Profusion. Skip your draw step whenever you play a card. Draw a card. Your maximum hand size is two. What is that? The same thing as Recycle. Dust Elemental. Ormancer's Guise. Gets plus two, plus two for each aura attached to it and has Vigilance. <clears throat> Waning Worm is a big ass seven, six for four, but dies in two turns. Wrathy Trapper is pretty legit. Uh, Brain Gorger sucks. Manatide will probably come back and then we can Manatide some bros. If we're playing white, I'm going to take Wrathy Trapper. 
Yeah, it's just color shifted recycle, correct. You can tell the color shifted cards because they have this like kind of grayish border as opposed to a black border. So you can see it here. <coughs> Trapper is OP, you're correct. Uh, there was actually one other white white counter spell. Actually, that is not correct. Uh, there was a memory lapse for three mana. Lapse of certainty. There you go. Nailed it. Nailed it. I was gonna have a hard time finding that because I was looking up the word counter. And, and white card and it was just I was like this is not going to end well um, this is actually fine you can make it a 1-5 or a 5-1 uh, that's 100% the right one Lapse of Certainty is the right one it's a white counter spell Oh, Illuminate was the wrong one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Shade of Trick here is great. All right, we're going to run out of time. Melancholy, Enish Battlefield, Tap, Enchanted Creature. Yeah, this is actually fine. It's just removal. Whatever. None of the blue cards are that great here. Oof. No, this is not. I was thinking of the... What's the propaganda card? Isn't there a propaganda card in this set that's really good? Mog Serpent. Six mana. Yeah, no. <coughs> Two, three. When the last time card is removed... Creature can't be blocked this turn. That's nice. Midnight Charm deals one damage to a creature and you gain a life. Target Jim's first strike, tap a creature. That's actually pretty good. It's versatile. Yeah, Alright. Let's take the versatile card. Ooh, Dreamscape Artist. Discard a card, sack a land, search your library for two basic lands. This guy's actually pretty decent, especially when you're discarding cards uh, with madness. Let's take this guy. Ooh, Megas of the Coffers. Add a black for... It's just a 4 for This is actually just a 4-4 four, four for 5, um, which is actually pretty good in this format. Also, Merfolk Thermatogist is really good because you can just switch power and toughness, which is a pretty strong ability. I might just want the 5-drop. Especially with Avatar of Woe. If we have 4 Swamps, we're adding... We're, we're ramping... Yeah, we're just going to take the Megas here. Been a long day, spent the whole day cutting trees and clearing brush as I'm making trail. Are you really making trails? Luke, that's crazy, buddy. <clears throat> Too bad it's not Blue Tron. How dare you. Yeah, we'll just take the thermatogist just here. This guy's fine. I don't care about no waning worm. <laughs> I feel like if you have a waning worm, you should probably go see your doctor. It's not going to end well for you. Oh, body double could be interesting. Phantasmagorian, when you cast a spell and flame or discard three cards, if they do counter it, sure. Then you can discard three to return it to your hand. It costs seven mana. Ew, you're skinny. What's going on, buddy? <clears throat> They've got medicine to help Waning Worm now. That's good. Uh, I'm going to take Body Double. I think it's probably better than Phantasmagorian, but I don't know. I mean, it's any it's any graveyard. Which is nice, because that's, like, that's, like, that's a lot of versatility. So we can kill their best bro and then make their bro our friend. Or we can just copy our avatar of Will once it goes to the graveyard. 
Like, I like discarding this and then just being like, body double. Body double. Um, I wish I'll think any player draws two cards and discards four cards. <coughs> uh, when this leaves play, Enchanted, Purple's, Enchanted Purple, Enchanted Player, Permanence Controller sacrifices it. I remember Reality Acid being, like, kind of a thing. Whatever, it's the best card in this pack for us. The Null Profusion came back. Ain't nobody got no respect. I think they just take Brain Gorgers. The Madness is nice because it lets you take advantage of discard spells. Um, without actually having to discard. Oh, that's what it is. You put it on something and then you bounce the Reality Ash. That was the combo. Uh, Vampiric Link seems fine. Frozen either, whatever. Frozen doo doo is more like it. Wrecked. <coughs> oh, look, it's Groundbreaker. Were we just talking about Groundbreaker? Wasn't this one of the peppers? This was the pepper we were talking about yesterday on Pepper Talk, guys. The Groundbreaker. Wasn't this the jalapeno? I don't know, maybe. It's got a nice little punch, but then you gotta sacrifice it at the end so it doesn't really stick around. How fitting. How perfectly fitting. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. Do you like foil cards? And from what era do you like foils? I am actually not a huge foil fan. Um, only because they do weird things. Oh, I like a Grave Scrabbler here. Um, do I care about Putrid Cyclops? No. Il Infiltrator Ill Core is also pretty good with Shadow. I think it's just Grave Scrabbler here. That's a good value. I don't think doubling down on vitamins does work because I feel like by that point, I think that the common, the common knowledge is that at that point you're already infected. <clears throat> Man, kismet, am I right? Pepper kismet, that's what it is. That's what it is. Two two sacrifice it returns two creatures to their owner's hands, only during upkeep. This is what a poisonous three. Okay. Return an online permanent or suspended card to its owner's hand. That's nice. Create a 1-1 one, one zombie. Oh, you create fe Festering Goblins. That's pretty cool for a two-mana guy. Uh, Josh, I think you've summed it up perfectly. I think they look pretty cool, but they definitely have some issues. So these two are the same ones. This is just a blue version that makes Cloud Sprites, and this makes Festering Goblins, right? So I think we're just taking the Skirkridge Exhumer. <clears throat> Remember, it deals combat damage to the player. They each play, each player discards a card. Death rattle is definitely what we want. Destroy a non-green creature. Solid removal spell. Um, yeah, no no complaints there. Easy game, easy life. I'm gonna take out the vampiric link, and I'll also take out the Aphidian eye for now. Foresee. Ooh. I foresee us taking that. Don't care about you. Put target creature on top of its owner's library, then fate seal too. Don't care about you. Yeah, we're just taking the foresee. 
Oh, a bridge from below? And another spin into myth? <clears throat> another 4C, too. Man, are we the only blue drafter here? Yeah, 4C is very hard to look at. 4C is very hard to look at. I'm just going to take Spin into Myth here. We have a lot of creatures. Here, this is how you can tell that 4C is hard to look at. It's not okay. I just don't want to look at it anymore. I'm going to close it now. God, it makes me so uncomfortable to look at. Ah! Oh, Icarus Slick is gas. Neg three, neg three, and you can madness it out uh, so you, for six mana, for four mana. Uh, for seven mana, you get neg three, neg three, and you get to draw a card. Yeah, this card's great. Great. Now we need three cuts. Yikes. That is bothersome. You are correct. Whenever you cast a spell, creatures you control can be the targets of spells or abilities. Interesting. I'll just take logic and not. Love it? No, no one loves it. Target player puts the top X cards of their library into their graveyard. This is just Sands of Delirium, only worse. So for, for four mana and a tap, I get to kill two cards? Get out of here. Jay Sizzle, welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. <coughs> uh, I guess we'll just take another logic knot. Double logic knot. Eh, Vencer's Diffusion is fine. Yes, I actually got confused about the second wind. You're correct. I was looking at it and I was like, this is breaking my brain. Do I have to be able to tap the creature to tap an enchanted creature? I don't understand. If I put it on their creature, how can I tap it? I don't have the right to tap their creature because it's part of the activation cost. But you tap the enchantment to tap the enchanted creature. It was very confusing. It defies everything. I actually don't know my favorite art from Time Spiral. That's a good question. <clears throat> All right, we need to make some cuts here. We can take Leaden Fists out. We can board in the Thermatogist if we have, like, some shenanigans. <coughs> Slipstream Serpent, you kind of suck. You can GTFO. Spin into Myth, you're not great here. Lemures, 4 3 for 5 is not the worst rate. I don't really want to go down to thir 13 creatures. I got Temporal Eddy. I think this is good. I like this deck. 5, 12. Let's go up to 7, 10. I don't think we have any double blue. We don't, which is nice. Good deal. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's crush them. Can we zoom in on that card, please? It actually, I think it gave me a headache. <laughs> I 
This hand's keeper. Yep, that's a keeper. So I'm watching this copy of Fantastic Four, right? I mean, it's way out of my it's way out of my price range. However, it's uh it's uh, it's my it's my literal like it's my literal grail issue, right? <clears throat> so, I'll show you guys. So here's something funny, right? First, it was listed at 12,000. Then it was listed at 12,000 again. Right? And I was like, wow, that's a lot. And then it didn't sell. And then it was listed at 10,005. So 105. And that didn't sell. And so they relisted it now at, at 14,000. And I'm like, oh, bold strategy. So it went from 12 to 12 to 105 to 14. Well, surely that'll sell. And it's Fantastic Four number five. It's the first appearance of Doctor Doom, so. But, um, yeah, so I was just like, this is comical to me when this ever happens. <clears throat> uh, I don't foresee us doing anything here. What did they do with their mana? Oh, they suspended a Hornet B queen. Oh, it doesn't, we don't actually have to give this guy float. We can just attack here. Oh no. I has a sadness. <coughs> oh, Swamp Walker. Well, now we're gonna, oh, that's nice. Let's play a little bird boy. So, their bees coming down soon, which is problematic. We have dark withering, so that's fine. Okay, well, I'm probably going to kill that first. No blocks. Because I can't block a, a swamp walker. Oh, swamp walker, keep on rolling. This is the that keep on shining on me. Also, we can just play Avatar of Woe next turn, which is pretty nuts. I guess we should have attacked there. This is sad. Yeah, I'll just get the 9.0 and pay 100k. That's actually probably a better idea. No blocks again. I hope they don't have a way to kill my avatar of woe. That would be sad. Oh my god, my bow is for days, dude. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn, but. This was nice because I wanted to get it out before they were able to sacrifice this and make us discard it, so. This also does not fly, which uh, many people probably don't know. It looks like it flies. I would assume it flies. Doesn't fly. Oh, uh, yep. That's a one for one. That's fine. I'll take it. Looks like it should have fear to be on it. How dare you? How dare you contradict my thoughts? 
What is this? Two, four, seven. I'll take it because I, I again I can't block any of it. So they knew. They're like, oh, this doesn't have flying. Okay, I'll just kill it, or I'll just come at you. Don't kill it. Shit, you don't need wings to fly. Wow, that's really wingest. You can't fly without wings. Wow. All right, so this guy's dead. <clears throat> And we'll attack you for one. Because I don't want to die. I went to Tijuana yesterday to see a cockfight. I'm not proud of it, but whatever. And by golly, it was roosters. My God, would you believe it? <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I was not expecting that. Jesus. <clears throat> I will take two. Eventually, you'll just run out of creatures, right? Okay, that also does it, I guess. Body double. That's an island. Okay, well, I think we're in worse shape now because they could set up for that damnation pretty easily. Yeah, that's good. Draw two. Oh, boy. Yikes. Body double. Okay, another land? Seems good. <sighs> Ten lands, six cards. Here we are. Here we are, Magic the Gathering. First strike in Sliver Boy. Body double. <clears throat> uh, bottom? Bottom? I can haunting him, though, and make them discard their whole hand. But then we take four. Um, man, I really wish the bird was still alive. We could play both of these. That'd be fantastic. That would be great. Or we can just mill. We can put both of these. We put two lands on the bottom, right? Maybe. <clears throat> All right. Show me what you got. I'm the turtle guy. I stop by your stream sometimes. <laughs> All right. I accept. What are you going to do? You're going to cast this? Oh, I guess it's just... Well, this is a lot of things. I think we're just dead now because this guy kills us. Yeah. Oh, my God. We should have just put them both in the graveyard. By golly, can you imagine? Is there any creature we can get back? The answer is no. Will all be. I kind of want a logic knot. <clears throat> he got this midnight charm. He took the midnight charm going anywhere. But they have they do have a couple two ones in their deck, so maybe I just keep this. If they tap out, it's decent. <coughs> Take the melancholy out, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yes. Well, put him on the bottom. I'm not even putting him in the graveyard. I mean, put him on the bottom. I just meant get him out of the way. Yeah, this hand's great. Just a city boy. I mean, them being in the graveyard doesn't do anything. I just wanted the body double. I just meant we could have gotten closer and then gotten the body double and then played Avatar Void that turn, which would have probably turned that game around. Maybe we were greedy. I don't know. Probably. This is a good hand, though, because then we can go Urborg, Siphon Mage, and Skirk Ridge Exhumer. And now we have two discard outlets for this guy next turn. Oh my god, Facetious Elephant. I, I, I almost lost it. You're definitely not alone there, buddy. Definitely not alone there. We're together. Brutal. What is happening? Nothing? You're just going to take this too? Really? Sigh. Damnation's a pretty good card to pick up in limited. Yep. Especially when your opponent's mana screwed. Seems good. Look at that idiot. Almost stupid grub. That was rude. <clears throat> Born and raised in South Detroit. <coughs> I would rather not sack a creature in response to my own creature. They did. Well, we're definitely going to assassinate this idiot. It is now now who is mana screwed. <laughs> it's them. Oh, it's not anymore. Oh, their jund, their jund powers have activated. Good to see you keeping the mana screw tradition alive. Hey, man, I do what I can. I do what I can. Those who can't get mana screwed. Those who do. Those who can do. Those who can't get mana screwed. That's what I always say. He's never said that before. Man, I would kill for one land here. Oh, yes. So long, hand. <laughs> 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 
Death Rattle, Sengir Nosferatu. And a Iker. Wow, your hand was stacked. Also, Sengir Nosferatu, why would you not play that over Spitting Sliver? That's insane to me. Well, not the land we were looking for, because we wanted to be able to wrath each rapper here. <clears throat> Aggressive. This is going to be a close one. So they actually have to activate this guy to to gain the life here, so. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. If we attack with both, they go to seven, then they go to one. Tap this guy, and then we're at four, and then we just die to both of these. So you actually have to leave this guy back. But see, doing it this way, they go to two, and then they go to four. And being at an even number uh, means that both of our flyers can uh, can kill them. So, yep. So we go to two. We tap down this guy, block here. And, uh, <clears throat> like, they have to hit something here. Yep, got a block, so. Fascinating. So they go to six here. All right, we just win. Sweet. That was a little too close for comfort, but nevertheless... Yeah, nothing else really stands out for me. Uh, this is Time Spiral Draft, my good man.
I kind of want to keep Wrathy Trapper here. I kind of want to leave with Dreamscape Artist because I want to be able to, uh, if they Damnation again, I want to be able to actually have Wrathy Trapper to back up with. Also, if we discard, if we pay three to discard a land to search for two lands, it's... I mean, we're not... We're sacking one land to get two lands in play. So we're, we're losing two. It's two for two. We don't gain any card advantage. But um, it does ramp us one, and it thins our deck for two lands. Oh, no longer does that. <clears throat> We're just going to play this guy right now. We could have played this and this, but again, like, Wrathy Trapper is really strong, so. Uh, real X black cards in your hand. Dang it. Dang it. Actually, if we just wait till next turn, that's pretty strong, I think. Because we can pay three, then pay two, and kill this guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't see any point of attacking here. One more black card. Why not play all the creatures? It's not like they... This is what I'm saying, man. This is what I'm saying. That's... That's your boy. I feel like we're in good shape this turn. But, I mean, like, the problem is they have uh, Dusk Wasp here. So like I presumably they're gonna try to play damnation the turn before Dusk Watch comes Dusk Wasp comes into play. <clears throat> that would be my guess. Okay, well they keep playing things into damnation, so that's good for us. Okay, well. This is kind of a blowout. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty brutal. God, he's got a family. I'm actually going to play this now. If they have... Um, if they have Damnation, so be it. Like, it sucks if they do. But I, we can body double get this guy. <sighs> Fucking come on, dude. Three out of three games... Oh, it's so infuriating. <clears throat> I mean, this gets around strangling soot, which is nice. Yep, that's fine. Sure. 
Oh, I know the damnation's gone, so that's good. For C is nice. Haunting him, not really doing as much. God, do we just want... Okay, non-green creature, unfortunately. Put on the bottom. Assassinate's good. We'll keep you. Don't care about you, and don't care about you at the moment. So it's going to be land. Yep, it's going to be land and... <clears throat> So we can add one, two, add four, five mana. So we can play both of these, or we can just attack with Magus. I think we're just attacking with Magus and playing Trapper here. Because they're at 12, so keeping the pressure on seems good. Eh, we can also play Mirror here, which is probably better because... Eh, we'll play Trapper. <laughs> I think that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, they have a lot of cards in their hand. Okie dokie. Deal. So we can play both of these, and we're not too worried about this. We also get to keep up Tappy Land. Search for a basic land, sure. <clears throat> That's fine. Interesting. I don't have a way to discard this. Oh, yes, I do. It's built in. <laughs> oh. I mean, unfortunately, like... Oh. I see. Oh, it's got Regenerate? Oh, I didn't know that. Dang, this format's hard when you haven't played it in years. I mean, if you want to sack this guy and make me discard my last card, that's gravy. Yeah, my board looks a lot better if you do that. <coughs> yeah, Times Sparrow was a really weird format because you have like three separate sets that all have different like mechanics. And they're all like trying to pull from different parts of magic. It's very interesting. It's an interesting format. Let's get this fat boy out of the way. <clears throat> boom, 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 Better than Kamigawa. I didn't like Kamigawa, but that's just me. I know that's... I think I'm in the minority. I think people loved Kamigawa Limited. Strangling set the Trapper. You got it. Let's cycle this. Oh, look at that madness. How nice. How nice. Let's kill this thing. One, two, three, four. Huh. 
Huh. <clears throat> we can actually tap this guy down. Attack for... F actually, I think we're just going to give flying here. Oh, it's got reach. I always forget the stupid reach. But they might actually just take... They're probably just going to take four here. Yeah, that seems good. <coughs> yeah, Time Spar Unlimited is actually great. It's a lot of... There's a lot of interaction. There's a lot of decisions to make. Oh, Beer Man, man. What's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Yep. That is fine. Not great, but good. Fine. What have you. Give you float. <coughs> This is such a weird ability. Give it first strike. Jesus. It's so weird. Here's a black card that gives a creature first strike. Uh, Tromp the Domains is the uh, the overrun card in this set. Like, because there's kicker cards. So you have cards that do two different things. You have madness cards that you can cycle as well. So they do two different things. Wow, there's a lot of Satanial Wood Readers here. <clears throat> Avatar of Woe off the top. One time. One time. Oh, that's very good. All right, well, we got the win on the board. <coughs> Just have to dodge two spells, because Logic Knot was super timely there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, this is fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. <clears throat> Sengir Nosferatu the most perfect thing you could do there this is just just a hot mess <laughs> there are two <laughs> this is unreal oh boy Yep. 
Yep, pretty sure we just literally lost this game because of rares like Damnation and Sengar Nosferatu. Pretty sure their rares are just better than ours. I, I <clears throat> don't think we can actually win this game now. Like, flying is not an option to get around this. I have no idea what we can actually use. Yep, they can untap it for four mana, or they can just block with their... Uh... Oh, I forgot to give flying, so I guess we'll just block here. I guess it doesn't matter either way, huh? Wow, that's unbelievable. <laughs> 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think we... Do we put lands on the bottom, too? I don't know. Sure. Cool game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. We're having a good time. Wow. All right. Next card. Still wouldn't have done it, though. Like, we'd just be dead on board. We go block here, block here. We take four, five, six. Like, just congrats on your rares. Actually, give me one second. I'll use the restroom real quick. <clears throat> I'll be right back, obviously. All right, welcome back. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. <coughs> uh, I can't have the smooth jazz when I'm still recording a video because then it will be demonetized. I gotta go over this every single time. I will play first. I will keep this hand.
fight jazz. You guys listen to some sweet fight jazz? Let's play this guy. Are you going to manatize me? Boy, this draft is going well, boys. <laughs> we are. Oh, boy. Oh, fight jazz does kind of seem like ska. We have nothing to really play here, unfortunately. Our hand is six drop, six drop, eight drop, then two, three drops, then even mind sensor. What a weird little shitbird. <clears throat> bird. I would have done the exact something. That is correct. Got him. One hundred feels bad, man. Bits. Ugh. Ugh. This card just gets out of hand, so I'm not really about having them with an Amru Kithkin on the board. You know, man, tie this too. Creature type shitbird, top tier tribe. Nailed it. I will choose no blockers because that's not how not having creatures works. I guess we'll pay a mana for the rest of our lives. God. We gotta play this guy because we need to get this dark withering out. We're probably just discarding haunting him here. Trample, man. Can you believe Trample? I actually haven't played Slay the Spire yet. It's it's I have it. I have it on the I have it in the Steam. Huh. Well, that's something, isn't it? I don't know how we get past this nonsense. 
I don't want to take five, but blocking only takes four, so I guess we'll just take it. Oh my god. Magic's a hard game. That mana tithe was pretty epic. <coughs> Ooh, Tividar of Thorn. Sure. Yep, that is uh that is a thing. Of course we play this guy which makes goblins and they have Tividar of Thorn. I don't understand. This actually turned out well. That was a reasonable turn. How many creatures are dead? One, two, three, four. Not nearly enough. Oof. Brown, oof. All right, so... <coughs> The blue creature? Oh boy. Discard a card, you can sack a land, search a library for up to two lands, put them onto the battlefield. Two basic lands. Um, biscuits. All right, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we just try to hit a land here, maybe sacrifice this. Um, nope, you can have that guy back. And All right, well, fingers crossed this does a thing.
Yeah. Like, Amorous Scout's super powerful. Did they just not? Oh, they failed to found. Failed to found? They failed to find? Oh, they were probably just like, I need to find an answer to this Avatar of Woe. And then they didn't. And uh, that's pretty okay with me. All right. <clears throat> Uh, well, I'm just going to pass here because I'm more concerned with destroying your creatures than trying to win on this board. Luma Threadfield number two. All right. It doesn't do much at this juncture. So we get to block and kill, which is super good. <clears throat> yep, Wrathy Trapper also pretty solid. Wow, this is a heck of a comeback if uh, if we come back. Whistling Mighty Mighty Boss Tones? That's a demonetizing. When it destroy an enchantment, sure. Oh, this isn't even a May ability, so you like have to destroy one of your own enchantments? Oh, man, that's something right there. It does not seem Thank good. You. Apocalypsis, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Eh, might as well get the floaty boy out of there. Tap this guy. Pretty sure we're just going to attack with all these guys now. Because this also taps a creature, so... I'd rather just give them two turn clock. Oh, thank God. I thought they were going to kill us. All right. So they gain infinite life here. Oh, it's a source. So sure. They gain six. So 20... No. Yeah, okay. Well, pay your mana. <clears throat> Restore balance? That's ambitious. <coughs> I 
What are you doing now? Stop doing things. Oh my god, what is even happening right now? I mean, this the restore balance has six counters on it. Like, it's a lot of turns. See if you hit another one. Alright, we're gonna put you to ten. And then theoretically next turn we can attack you. And uh We can attack you with also the Wrathy Trapper. Oh my god, what is what is going on right now? Putting the earth. Whatever. <laughs> Get out of here with that weirdo. This dude's got fear. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid anymore. It's a rebel. It's a soldier. All right. What in the earth? They just didn't attack. They didn't block anything. That's a weird choice. A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Well, now they can start making Urza's Factory guys, which do block Avatar of Woe. <clears throat> or they can just... Okay, they are going to make an assembly worker. Sure. Mm, yep, you can attack if you'd like. I did not think so. Six, seven, eight. All right, I'm just going to put you to two here. Not gonna body double anything. Oh, we're definitely making a gobby boy. That'll do. I am actually extremely surprised we won that game. <coughs> they don't have any. They don't have much removal, so I feel like Vampiric Link is actually pretty good against them. Also, Thermatter just is nice because we can flip the power and toughness. Take Reality Acid out. I did not get to make a goblin, that is correct. <sighs> this hand seems great. <clears throat> I'll keep it. Two two drops. That's a good two drop. Because if we hit a swamp, or eh, if we hit any land, we can play both of these next turn, which is nice. It also cheapens up our avatar of woe. 
No land yet. Their creatures on curve are much better than our creatures on curve. Oh, we did it. God, we're so good at this game. Also, we can play this guy or this guy next turn if we hit a land. That's pretty good. That's a lot of damage, no blocks. What is the one four shadow? You gain four life? Sure. So we get two basics, they come into play untapped. That's pretty good. So we're still ramping, still assassinating, still doing all the things. Discard a card and make two one ones. That's actually one of the better. Uh, wow. Fascinating. No attacks. Interesting. <clears throat> All right, so they have less cre fewer creatures and fewer cards, but more lands. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Combo, combo bones connected to the neck bone. You're mad side this guy? Sure. <clears throat> nope, I'm good. One, two, there are three creatures, four creatures. Huh. That's fascinating. I mean, if your goal is to wait, like, four turns to, like, just not play any creatures, 
I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, we can discard Avatar and Body Double. I just don't see a reason. Like, their plan is, like, Restore Balance, so we can actually just wait to cast this. Like, we can add four, five, six. Like, we can just cast it this turn, actually, if we really wanted to. See if they want to use this. If they do, it just makes their their restore balance a lot worse. They don't. All right, we just win the game. <laughs> That'll do. I did not expect that, but here we are. All right. Well, I mean, I didn't feel like we were in bad shape, but I didn't expect it at that moment, I should say. Let's do it. I'll keep this hand. It's not great, but it does have a lot of powerful spells. And we have a good amount of discard outlets, so... I'm pretty sure the opponent was on, I want to keep my board minimal. Because they also sacked their 1-4 for no real reason. When they could have just sacked it during upkeep. It was very strange. I felt like they wanted to keep their board minimal, so they actually used our sacrifice trigger as an excuse, as a way to do it. And, um... Oh god, Arant Ephemeron is busted. What is this dude? A 2 2? Return up to two creatures? You got it. You got it. Dothy Trapper. Little Dothy Trapper Keeper. They have one card in hand. That seems very good for us.
Eh, we'll wait. <coughs> Actually, if we did that during their upkeep, they could have bounced the Arant Ephemera onto their hands, so it's probably best that we waited. I almost want to be able to block, or not incentivize them to attack with the Trapper, mostly. This draft format was actually pretty complex. Yeah, it was definitely uh, uh, paperwork. It definitely had a lot going on, which is very, very nice. I, I enjoy formats like this where like you have lots of decisions to make. Black and black. Two cards in hand, huh? Okay. Death Spore Thalad into the graveyard. Okay. Another Augur Aven. <clears throat> well, I'm definitely killing one of these guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, that was not what we wanted to do. Yep, that was pretty bad. Oh, that's frustrating. Yep, that was pretty terrible. Wow. I meant to tap the land, and then I actually was... That was the land we were sacrificing. Yep, that's a pretty big misplay. Avatar of Woe, maybe? Nope, just a regular land. Okay. Seven and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lands so far. Sure. Wow, that was so bad. Like they would have at least been out of Dreamscape Artist at the worst. So we have two lands left in our deck, so that's good. Our draw should be good. Foresight here would be great. Foresight into Avatar of Woe. Not ideal. We'll probably be dead before uh, <laughs> before this triggers. All right, come on, we got some good draws here. Oh, Jesus, come on. Uh, we'll do this during upkeep, I guess. That seems better, right? <clears throat> and by upkeep, I mean draw set. Draw step, not draw set. So we're going to go to four here. Oh, God, that's stupid. That's stupid misclick, man. Oh, you're going to pay costs. So you have something you can do. Leaden fists. Seems good. Seems good. I'm at one. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. All right. This guy doesn't untap anymore, so that's a thing. We do have to block. So one is not zero. And dead. Oh, well, they did that. Yep, that's game. All right. Well, that was good. Very, very well played. Very well played, despite my <sighs> fundamental mistakes. That's unfortunate. Reality Acid has not been uh, 
impressing me. I'd I probably should just have this logic not in the main deck, actually. Spirit loop? What does that even mean? Yeah, this hand seems okay. Again, not a super quick hand, but... How many got to remove? Uh, sacrifice, snap, rolling, and target Remove three. Okay, I think it's always three. Uh, I do like blocking this Sarcomite Mirror with a Crook Claw Transmuter. That's pretty nice. And then next time we can play Nightshade Assassin and presumably kill something with it. Even if it's just this Death Spore Thalid. I'll also play Lemur, Lemures next turn. La Lemures. I'd rather just get rid of this engine, though. Yeah, that seems better. And now we can play Lemures next turn and give it Swamp Walk, which is pretty powerful against uh, La Black deck. I see. I see. <clears throat> Man, I wish I had a way to untap this guy, huh? Swamp Walk is pretty much unblockable, yes. That is it basically unblockable. I mean, if they want to trade here, that's fine. Um, return it to my hand. All right, you got it. 
I mean, I'm just going to replay it. I don't know if you knew this. That was a sweet O for none. One for none. O for, o for one. O for. That's an O for. How are any of these cards what they do? Like this, tapping a creature down and giving first strike are not black abilities at all. Sure. Nothing else to play, but our hand is pretty stacked right now. And the rich get richer, boys. <laughs> this is a pretty ridiculous hand. Game three, let's go. Where everything is made up and the colors don't matter. All right, so you can make sappy boys. Oh, sappy boys. I would assume you're making saprolings. Red. What is red? Goblins. Okay. Camerid is red. It's not a Camerid though. It's a it's a goblin. Yep, concession. All right. Next game. For all the marbulays. All the cards in all the cards in uh Time Spiral were meant to be out of the color pie. That was the that was one of the main points of the the set. That's why they called it, like, that's why the second set was called uh, Plane Shift. Plane Chase? I don't know. I get Plane Shift and Plane Chase confused. I think it's Plane Chase. Okay, all right. Camera, it is red. <clears throat> Oh, did they mulligan? Oh, yikes. Oh, Thysis, Thieven. This guy. Destroy a creature, its controller is life equal to its power plus its toughness. Yeah, that's fine. I actually don't want to play the Magus because they just kill that. But right now we have some pretty good attacks here. So we go Magus, they go put it on two. We can attack for a bunch. I think it's I think we're getting enough value out of this. Plus they don't gain life, so we're not like We're not slowing down the clock any. In fact, you might say we're speeding up the clock some. In fact, they might actually have to kill this guy because he's just brutal. A 
leaden fists. Okay. Yikes. Alright. Thysis is definitely killing the Siphon Mage. They have to find a way to deal with our mirror. Yep, this game was pretty quick. I mean, we're not... I guess it's not over yet. <laughs> Seems good. And they're like, all right, that's all. I've seen enough. All right, 2-1, not too bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check them out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. And uh, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, sweet affiliate link. You guys get 15% off and free shipping and free returns on uh, some of the most comfortable micromodal underwear you will ever find. So be sure to check that out. It helps me out. It helps you out. You know you need new underwear. Everybody needs new underwear. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will uh, see you later. Thanks for watching.